Hi there, today I'm going to run you through a simple purchasing process in Gather. And I'm going to start here in our custom statuses. This is really important um, when you're getting started with your purchasing. It just helps you customize your own process. So statuses can be found under your account drop down here in settings. And you have up to 15 statuses. There are three you cannot edit or delete, but then you have 12 that you can work with and you can completely customize your workflow here. So as you can see, we've added invoice, invoice paid, deposit paid. So just a few additional statuses along the purchasing process. So now I'm gonna flip over to a project. And in our process, before purchasing, the last status would be invoice paid. So I'm gonna come into, I'm here in spreadsheet view, and I really recommend when you're doing purchasing to hop over to spreadsheet view. That can be found here in display. So once you're in the spreadsheet view and you're ready to start purchasing, um, in our process, I mentioned the last status before purchasing would be invoice paid. So I'm gonna select all my invoice paid items. And then I'm going to select a manufacturer because you can see here that I have a couple different manufacturers um, with items on this invoice that have been paid. So to group my items by manufacturer, I'm going to come here under manufacturer. You can also do this by supplier. If that makes sense for you to group items by supplier, you can come over here instead and group by supplier. But for my example, I'm going to do manufacturer. So we're going to do blue dot. And now these are the items that I want to purchase. So let's say maybe I didn't actually want to purchase one of these just yet. You could just select two or however many you wanted. You don't actually have to purchase them all at the same time. But in this example, I am going to purchase all of these at the same time. I'm going to come over to exports and select purchase order. So now you can see it's grabbed my supplier details because I've already entered that into my contacts section. Um, it's grabbing my information, which is coming from um, my account in account details. And now I'm gonna put in my purchase order number. So this is a number that you'll need to come up with, um, whatever your system is. So in my example, I'm just gonna use the first three letters of the project and um, 001. And then this is a section where you can put any additional notes or side marks that you need to. And then in the ship to address, what I recommend is just having your uh, contacts tab open on another, in another tab. And you can quickly search the name of your uh, receiving company. We're going to use the big guys here. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to grab the address. I'm going to paste it right in there. Oh, looks like I need to do a little editing here. And now um, I'm going to have these fields selected. Make sure you know they all look good. It's everything I want to include. Hit export. And there's my purchase order. So now I'm ready to download this purchase order and email it off. So once I've done that, I send it off to my uh, vendor. I'm going to come back to Gather, and I'm going to, before I do anything else, I'm going to come to Actions, and I'm going to hit this Edit here. And what this is going to allow me to, to do is update all these items I purchased at the same time. And what I want to do is come in, and I want to note the date that I placed this purchase order. So I'm going to scroll down until I see PO Submit Date. I'm going to click on the little calendar. I'm going to hit today. If you're waiting until tomorrow, you can always, you know, hit tomorrow. Um, and then if I know any other dates, like if I know that all these items are going to ship in four weeks and I can, you know, go ahead and, and include that as well. It's just an estimate at this point. So it's to kind of help keep us on track. And then I'm going to hit save. It's going to ask me, do you want to update all these items? Yes. All right, so now all these items have been updated with these new dates, so we can scroll over if we want and see. Lots of that scrolling. So here we go. So here are PO submit date, estimated ship date. It's all been updated. So now I'm gonna go back, whoops, and I'm going to come here to actions, 
and I'm gonna hit this update status for these three that are showing that I just ordered, and I'm gonna hit ordered. And when I do that, they're gonna disappear because they're, um, they're sorted right now by invoice paid. But, um, I'm just gonna click out of that tab, and now you can see those items have been ordered. And um, so if we go into the status tab, you'll see the status is ordered. Um, maybe we had an invoice. If you, if you did an invoice previously that you put in here, you can add an invoice number to that. Um, the PO number is automatically saved. And then when we get any information back from the vendor, like an acknowledgement, we can put that number in here. Once we have a tracking number, we can put that in here. Um, and then we can continue putting any additional dates we receive. Um, so you can export out a progress schedule uh, to kind of pull everything together if you wanted to export, let's say, all your ordered items. There's a couple of different options. You could um, export this spreadsheet here, which will pull out everything, probably more than you need, but you can also export a progress schedule. It's just a spreadsheet, but it pulls out all the dates. It'll have all your purchase order numbers. Um, it's, it's a nice document to maybe send along, um, you know, with, you could do a line item specification if you just wanted images to send along with that spreadsheet. So this is um, just a quick overview. I hope this is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us in the chat or send us an email at support at, at gather.